G'day everyone. I want to talk to you today about judgment. Wow. Oh man. Please don't judge that D there. I just noticed that. Unbelievable. Look, it's something that no one wins. It's a damaging thing that really does destroy not the person who's being judged, but the person doing the judging. Probably more so, whether they're aware of it or not. And someone's opinion of you or someone's views or values or beliefs that you should be adopting and taking in your life is A, none of your business, and B, got nothing to do with the actions that you can take for yourself moving forward. So why would you adopt that? And sometimes, unfortunately, it can come from those closest to us as well in trying to enforce uh, their agenda, their beliefs, their values, and what it is that's important to them and how you play a role in their life. That's a whole other day and story. Judgment, though, <laughs> it's a funny one. It really is. No one wins. Ask yourself, any time when you, and it's hard because as human beings, you've been conditioned, we all have, to look at something, immediately judge it. Judge it, compare it, look at it, and analyze it. When it comes to someone outside of yourself, and yourself, like self-judgment, ask yourself, is this making me better? Judging that person, judging yourself for an action or something you've done, is it making you better? And what is judgment? You're judging someone off the base of a value system that you've created yourself and uh, experiences that you've had in your life and, and how everything applies to you in your life to say that, no, that's not right. Who's to say that your gospel, your law, your truth is someone else's or has to be? Now, look, of course, there are some primary fundamentals in universal truths like love and the higher power and higher energy and frequency out there in the world. I'm not saying you can't observe. It's what we do as human beings and creatures. We observe things. But... Is it making you better judging someone? Like if I judge someone for doing that and like, he's an idiot, look what he's doing here, there and there and there. Like, look at what I've done. I'm taking focus and energy off myself, what's important, being in a higher state of love and fulfillment and just living in someone else's uh, neglect or energy or the way in which they're actioning and choosing to live their life. Which takes me to my next one. What's the point? What's the purpose? What are you trying to achieve from judging someone? What are you trying to get out of it? To raise yourself up? To validate your own insecurities? Can you can you see how mad that is? Like have a look at that within yourself when you do that. Like how crazy that is to try and uplift yourself. Like grass is green on the other side, keeping up with the Joneses, whatever BS that you want to run through in your own head. Can you see how looking at someone else, either good or bad, and trying to bring down or validate their circumstances in relation to your own life is absolutely crippling and, and destroying you? No one wins there. That's what I'm saying. That's my point. What is, you know, what is the point? There is none. Because whatever small victory or win or validation you feel you have, especially as parents, look at my kids doing this, this and that. I don't care. I've got 30.3 in my UI. It doesn't mean jack. And it still won't mean jack if I have a billion dollars one day and someone else doesn't, but they got 90 in their UI. Who cares? Live your life. Live your truth. Don't judge and compare. Look at yourself. What's the point? And it's hard, guys. I get it. It's really automatic and simple. But there is a difference and you can change it. Observation. Who benefits from this? Who really does benefit? Because at the end of the day, remember that you're taking focus and energy off yourself and putting it into someone else. You're literally absorbing the frequencies and energies that you don't even agree with and adopting them as your own. Can you see how crazy that is when you judge someone? Like you're taking something you don't agree with and you're making it part of you. Like it's a, it's a lose-lose. Again, like you're doubling up on your own loss of time and invested energy in something that shouldn't matter or worry or concern you at all. Am I them? Now, the only time I would say that you could potentially look at judging someone is if you've lived a day in their life. Lived a day in their shoes and their life, let alone the 10, 20, 40, 60 years that they've lived in their shoes. And you can't do that because it's impossible because you literally physically can't live in their shoes and be them, can you? So you can't judge them because you haven't lived their life. You haven't even lived one day of their life inside their mind, how they're thinking, how they're feeling. You're not them, so don't go judging them. Now, there is a difference between judging and observation. You can certainly observe something. Like if I'm at the park and Stella's playing and there's a kid and he looks a little bit a little bit aggressive in his, um, you know, in his mannerisms and how he's carrying on and something happens and he pushes her over, there's absolutely things that I don't agree with that don't align with my values, my principles and beliefs. What I'll do though is I'll take ownership and responsibility and come in there and remove what's important to me away from that environment. That's much better than just judging or castrating or looking for the dad to go knock him out or do something like that and going, well, who wins out of that? 
you know. That may be his principle, his underlying belief and his factor, and his parents may be that we're inclined where they're happy for aggression and those sorts of different traits and characteristics of someone to carry through, which will become an adult. Awesome, good for you, do that. I'm not gonna be part of that, I'm gonna remove myself. That is so much more liberating. That is so much more better. We will observe everything. If someone's carrying on like a fool or an idiot, that's only based off how I would carry myself in that situation. That's sort of negligible. It's, a, it's about looking at it and going, Okay, someone's going to be that way, I'll do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uplift myself and take ownership and I'm going to remove myself from that which would potentially affect me or come into my life. End of story. Done. The end. It's that simple. So when it comes to your self-judgment, don't judge yourself, but be, be hard on yourself and your standards and your expectations of who you can be. And when you know you've missed the mark and you're under that part, it's not about judging yourself, it's about reflecting, analysing and observing. Observing, okay, was that the right move for me moving forward? Knowing there's no right or wrong, but was that the highest point of decision that I could have made and action that I could have taken? From there, that's when you'll be able to move forward in your life. Because it's about understanding, is this right or wrong, or is this greater or lesser? There's a difference between that. And there's never going to be a greater when you're spending your mind, your energy, your focus on either someone else or yourself, judging yourself off the base of something else that doesn't even matter, on an opinion or value system or experiences or beliefs or assumptions that it should be this way. It has to be that way. It is what it is. It isn't. It's whatever you choose it to be. And that starts with observation from which you can uplift yourself and move forward in the way that you want to for yourself, for your life, and for your family and those around you. Powerful one today, guys. Really let this sink in. I hope this makes sense. If you ever have any questions or ever need anything, please let me know. Always here for you. But this Man, you hear about that saying, comparison is a thief of joy. I tell you right now, judgment is the destroyer of lives and your life and what you can truly live. Because every ounce and fibre of energy and focus and time you're spending on something or someone else, which clearly doesn't align to who you want to be, on a compounding effect takes away from who you can be. And that is the greatest person that you'll be in your life, in this life for yourself and for loved ones. Thank you. I'll see you soon.